Hi there, my name is Stephanie Hensley and this is how to get a job in fashion. So just to give you a little bit of background on me, I've been working uh, for 15 years as a shoe designer and for a couple of years before that I was also in clothing design. Um, I've had my own brand in footwear, that brand was worn by Lady Gaga and was also exhibited in a footwear museum in Italy. Um, but in addition to that, I also worked for large names in the industry in the mid-level market, um, such as Kenneth Cole, and there's a company called Calaris that is like one of the biggest in the country for shoe design and shoe manufacturing. So yeah, I have a lot to say. And I wish I had this advice when I was first starting out. And so I thought I'd make this video for anybody who needs a little guidance. So don't mind if I just look down every now and again because I made some little notes. But um, so number one, I would say, would be to go to fashion school. Um, I think it's important and I think it teaches you things that you wouldn't learn at a normal college. So it's, it's helpful. It really like rounds out your career if that's what you're really planning to do and if you're obsessed with it. So it's a good start. Um, my advice would also be to go to, if you can, one of the best. I mean, it doesn't, it's not super important that you go to the best school, but I mean, if you can, you should. So work hard and get in and, and while you're there, work hard and be positive. And, and also, I think it leads to number two, which is have a point of view. So kind of know what you want. It's easy to say and a little bit harder to do, but all you have to do is look to where your look to where you get excited. So like for some people they get really excited about streetwear and like the new sneaker drop and all of this. Um, that's totally not me, but everybody's so different so it's okay. Um, maybe your excitement comes from like designing things that you'll see every day on people when you walk down the street. So that could be if you wanted to work for a brand like Zara or if you wanted to work for any, anybody in that middle level, um, price sensitive but stylish clothes. You know, if you want to dress the world, then mid-level, mid-market is kind of where you want to be. Um, and also, I mean, there's couture and luxury brands and that's kind of where I, I find my excitement, but doesn't mean everybody will, so there's space for everybody. While you're in school, and if you can for a couple of years after, or even for a year after, I would really suggest that you intern. And intern at places that you would be excited to work for, because then you can get a chance to see if you like how they work, if you like the company kind of culture there and see what everybody's doing and see if it lines up with you know what you want to be doing. Now it's not to say that you're going to be coming out of college and be a design director like most of the time that doesn't happen. I'm not saying never but most of the time you're going to have to work your way up a little bit within the industry starting out as an assistant designer um, then designer, then designer for some time, and then design director, and then VP of design or creative director, wherever you, you want to take it. So my advice would be to intern to see how the industry really works, especially the level that you want to be in. If it's um, athleisure and you want to be designing athleisure clothes, then find a few brands that you really are excited about and really want to work with and try to intern for them like maybe one every summer or one in the summer and like one different one during the school year. Um, it's a lot of work but it really pays off 
and it really can show you what you like and don't like within the industry. I mean, don't just stay in the bubble of college. Okay, number four is choose wisely. So I was just watching a video the other day and I really think this is true. I think it was on YouTube. If I can find it, I'll put the link down here. But um, basically what it was, it was Will Smith and he was giving a lecture at a university, I think like um, at the graduation, he was giving the graduation speech. And he said something like, and I'm totally paraphrasing, he said, you know, the first two movies that you do will really define you, so choose wisely. And I think that's so true because in this industry you can get pigeonholed. I mean, sometimes you don't, but if you can be flexible and, you know, swerve. But um, I would say that it's nice to know, like, where you want to be. That was the number two. Have a point of view and know, know what you like and don't like. Um, and that will direct you into your choices. Like, Basically what I'm saying is don't settle. If you're looking for the lu a luxury brand or a high-end brand, then don't settle for mid-market. If you love doing athleisure, don't work for somebody who makes like embroidered capri pants for 60 year olds. You know, so try to stay, stay in your lane that you wanna be in because it, sometimes can guide you through your whole career. So you might as well be doing something that you really like and that you're really interested in. So not to say things can't change here and there, but I mean, it's nice to, it's nice to have a direction. So that's number four. And number five is build your portfolio to show at interviews. So build your portfolio with that point of view in mind and with your goal in mind. So if your goal is to work at a luxury brand, then I wouldn't show such a mix of like athleisure and um, like more normal stuff. I would cater the portfolio to what you want to do. So um, if you like, if you like sportswear, but like athletic wear, then yeah, I wouldn't be doing like tailored, I wouldn't have any tailored sketches or anything like that in my portfolio. I would really like focus it so that it's very clear what you wanna be doing and it's very clear when you apply for those jobs with those companies that you've been researching that your portfolio looks like you could just jump into that role right away. So yeah. I would say, and let's say, let's say this, let's say that you don't have, um, you don't have enough work that is so focused on your one, your one goal, like, uh, you want to be doing, you want to work for Zara. And let's say because of when you were in school, you designed like a little bit of everything then you don't have enough work of this one like mid-level but fast fashion like really trendy clothes I would say spend the time and the effort and make it so just make it don't put in something because you did it in school and you think oh well you know they'll, they'll want to see the variety of things that I can do no they want to see, can you fit in directly into my company right now? So again, what I'm saying is do the work and focus, focus your attention and your portfolio. So yeah, that's number five. Oh, number five subsection B is within your portfolio, I would say that you should, um, the only variety that you should have in your portfolio is a variety of different um, different mm, things. So, like I would do artistic sketches, 
like really like cool fashion-y sketches. Then I would have also have some that were like more technical sketches with swatches and stuff like that, mood boards. And then I would also have like photos of the clothes that I made, either like an editorial photo or a flat lay or something like that. Or just like, you know, you can DIY like a little editorial on the streets of whatever town you live in, you know? So find a friend who fits the clothes and do a little, do a little photo shoot one day and then put, use those photos for your portfolio. So I would say show a variety of skills that you have, whether it's more like um, freestyle design sketches or if it's the technical sketches. I mean, you should include all of them because they're all part of they're all part of a job in fashion. So you need to be able to, to show that you can do everything. Um, yeah, okay. Number six is start meeting people. You just have to go out and you never know who of your connections knows who. So it's really important to meet people, make a great first impression. Tell them, tell them what you're looking for. Be vocal about what you want. You want a job in Zara. You want a job at Nike. You want a job at Chanel. You know, if you spread the word, then people will come out of the woodwork and they'll have opportunities for you to meet other people who might be connected. So I would just say, keep going, keep meeting new people and be vocal about what you want. Number eight. Number eight is once you get the job in fashion, to work hard, be humble. Don't think that just because you're coming out of school and you think you're like the shit, that you're gonna be creative director, or that you can't unpack boxes or you can't, you know, go get coffee for the creative director or something like that. Um, we all have to go through doing work, some things that we don't want to do, and that's how we get to do what we like to do. So, yeah, part of being an assistant designer is unpacking boxes, packing boxes, tracking samples, taking photos of shoes, but not like, not like artistic photos, but just like very functional photos. So, just, work hard, put your head down, get to work, be humble, be excited about what you're doing and be hungry. So always be looking to learn and always, yeah, be vocal. That's what I got for you. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and I will definitely answer all the questions that I get, if I can. And if not, then I'll reach out to somebody to try to help, okay? So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh yeah, and if you liked this video and you like the other videos that I've made on this channel, feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna be filming more through the weeks, so if you wanna be alerted, subscribe. Thanks.